to make lasagna, everyone. But before I get started, I'm going to need every last one of you guys to like, comment, subscribe. And make sure y'all hit that bell down below so you all will be notified every time I post one of my new good recipes, everyone. You do not want to miss out, okay? And make sure you share as well. With that being said, everyone, let's get straight into this video. Come on. Okay, everyone, so the ingredients that you are going to need for this recipe, you are going to need ground beef, everyone. You are also going to need lasagna noodles, cream cheese, sour cream, accent, garlic powder, parsley, basil, garlic salt with parsley, minced garlic, original salt-free seasoning, onion powder, one medium onion, one green bell pepper, Kobe Jack cheese, mozzarella cheese, and ragu sauce, everyone. My hands has already been washed, so the first thing you wanna do, everyone, is start cooking your ground beef. So what I'm going to do is head over here towards the stove and start cooking my ground beef. Be right back, everyone. So I'm gonna rinse my wok out. I'm gonna turn my eye up on medium high to let my wok heat up. Okay, now I'm going to add my meat, everyone. So how is everyone out there today? I hope you all are doing well, everyone. I also hope everyone enjoyed their holiday. Okay, everyone, so as you can see, my meat is done. So now what I'm going to do, y'all, is add my seasoning to my meats. Some of that fresh parsley in there, y'all, as well. I'm gonna keep on mixing everything together. Okay, that's how we're gonna do that, y'all. Smells so good, everyone. Now, what I'm going to do, everyone, is drain the grease from my ground beef. Okay, everyone, so now what you want to do is take the drippings from the ground beef, okay? And you're going to pour it back in the skillet. So I'm going to let that heat up, everyone. And then I'm going to add my onions, bell pepper, and minced garlic. I'm going to add my green bell pepper. What you want to do, everyone, is saute your vegetables, okay? But don't saute your vegetables too much, y'all, because they are going to cook with your lasagna in the oven, okay? So you don't want to saute them that much. So I'm going to let these saute for a minute, just for a minute, y'all. And right now I have my eye on medium. It smells so good, y'all. Some green bell peppers and onion. And now I'm going to add my minced garlic. And I'm gonna let my minced garlic cook with my onions and bell peppers. I'm gonna finish letting these saute for a minute. Then I'm going to add my meat, everyone. Then I'm going to add my red root. going to do is add some water to my jar. Just like so. Add some more 
basil. Go in again with some fresh parsley, everyone. So I'm gonna let that simmer, everyone, for 30 minutes on medium low, everyone. Okay, everyone, so while I wait on my water to come to a boil, what I'm going to do is start making my mixture. Be right back. Okay, everyone, so what I'm going to do is mix my ingredients together, my sour cream and my cream cheese, y'all. I'm gonna mix all that together, y'all. Just like so. I'm gonna add some of my basil as well. And my cheese, everyone. And I also wanna add a pinch of salt and pepper, everyone. Some fresh parsley as well. to put this to the side everyone and I'm going to start placing my lasagna noodles inside of my pot okay everyone so as you can see my water has come to a boil so I'm going to add my lasagna noodles and I'm going to let my lasagna noodles boil for seven to eight minutes everyone and don't worry about if your noodles don't seem like they want to fit everyone because they are going to soak down as they boil. Okay, everyone, so as you can see, my noodles are done. It has been eight minutes. So what I'm going to do is head over here towards the sink, everyone, and start draining my noodles. And I'm going to rinse my noodles off with cold water, everyone. I'm going to stop your noodles from cooking, everyone. Let them sit in cold water. Okay, everyone, so my meat and my sauce is done. So what I'm going to do is to start making my lasagna. Be right back. Okay, everyone, so the first thing that you want to do is add your meat, okay? So you want to add your meat to the bottom of your pan. And what this is going to do, everyone, is keep your noodles from sticking to the bottom of your pan. So that's why you want to start off with your meat first. Okay. And then what you want to do, everyone, is add your noodles. And don't worry about if your noodles are too long, because you can cut them with your kitchen scissors, as you see me doing. That's how we're going to do that, y'all. I tell y'all this lasagna for to be so good. Yeah, I know it is. So now I'm going to add my meat. All that goodness, y'all. Yeah. How we gonna do that? Now I'm coming with my mixture. my 
talk to you, bro. Layer your noodles again. And this time, I'm gonna lay them this way. How you gonna place your noodles in your pan, y'all? Just like that, okay? So what I'm going to do now, everyone, is add my meat, the rest of my meat. Now I'm going to add some more Kobe Jack cheese. And my little cheese, y'all. Okay, everyone, so what I'm going to do is cover my lasagna with a lumina foil. Now everyone, what I'm going to do is bake my lasagna on 350 for 45 minutes. Within 35 minutes, I'm going to take my aluminum foil off of my lasagna and let bake everyone for 10 extra minutes. Be right back. So now what I'm about to do is take my lasagna. I'm gonna let y'all see. And what you want to do is let your lasagna sit, y'all. Let it sit for at least like 15 or 20 minutes. If you guys have tried lasagna with sour cream and cream cheese, y'all, try it. It's very good. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed watching my video. With that being said, everyone, like I always say, I'm out. God bless. Peace.